the dining experience. Being a waiter isn't just about providing food and beverage services for guests. Your guests will spend most of their time socializing in the dining and bar areas, enjoying fine food and wine. Of course, that means that you will spend a lot of time with your guests, and so you play a very important role in making their stay exceptional. One way to ensure that your guests feel they are getting the very best service is to have excellent knowledge of your profession. The service traditions and their history, as well as the different styles of service and types of menus used in food and beverage service. The type of menu and the service tradition will affect the number of courses as well as the order in which they are served, known as the menu sequence. Let's learn a bit more about these by first looking at styles and traditions of service, then the different types of menus, and the menu sequence. So what different styles and traditions of service are there? The two most common service traditions used today are American or plated service and English or silver service. The main difference is that in American service, food is plated by the chef in the kitchen, whereas with silver service, you, the waiter, serve the food to guests at the table from platters. American service is most often used in everyday restaurants. In contrast, silver service is found in very high-end, fine dining establishments, and waiters who have knowledge of silver service traditions possess a very specific skill. Different establishments will also have different styles of service, and may choose to alter the style of service depending on their needs or guest preference. A waiter who knows these different service styles is so valuable, because they can perform according to their establishment's needs. Some examples of service styles include buffet service, where all the dishes are displayed on a separate table and guests serve themselves. Banquet service, in which food is served plated, in courses to the guests. And fine dining service, when waiters serve each course at the table from platters. As you can see, there are many different service styles and traditions. And these are not the only kinds you may come across. As a professional waiter, knowing more about how these service styles work and your role in them will add an extra string to your bow. Next, let's look at the different types of menus. There are basically two types of menus that you will encounter. These are the a la carte menu and the table du, or fixed price menu. A la carte menus list the dishes separately, each with its own price, and guests order the dishes they would like. By contrast, on a table d'eau menu, each course has a couple of dishes from which the guest can choose, and one price is charged for the whole dinner, rather than having individually priced meals. An a la carte menu usually consists of just three courses, the starter course, the main course, and the dessert course. A table d'eau menu, on the other hand, may consist of more courses, sometimes as many as 16 courses. The order in which these courses are served is called the menu sequence. And there are normally eight or nine courses, as follows. Bread service, a mousse bouche, starter course. Some establishments omit this course and treat the entree as the starter. Entree course. Main course, palate cleanser, cheese course, dessert course, tea, coffee, and digestive service. While this list provides a good idea of how the dining experience can unfold, it is by no means the only way to deliver a multi-course meal. The order of service may differ at your establishment. This list simply provides a general outline to help you understand where the different courses fit in. In this lesson, we have touched briefly on styles and traditions of service, the different types of menus, and the menu sequence. Now you understand some of the practical aspects of your service role and have an idea of the sort of activities you can expect to encounter in the dining room. Take every opportunity to apply what you've learned. As a waiter, your guests are your top priority. 
Having excellent knowledge of these fundamentals of your profession will really add to the quality of service which you are able to provide to your guests.